this is Animat, and welcome back to the Muppet Vlog. Now this time we're looking into the third episode of the second season of The Muppet Show, which features Milton Burl. Now, of course, nowadays, Milton Burl is not really a familiar name of some sort, but back in the 50s and the 60s, he was one of the biggest stars out there. In fact, he had the name Mr. Television for a reason. Um, if you were a kid or if you were a person that was raised or you lived during the 50s and the 60s, then chances are you have seen a show that features Milton Berle. Uh, not only that, but he is also uh, an actor of television, but also of screen and also of stage. But uh, the most important thing to remember is that he was such a huge star on television, and it was, he was actually credited as the first major TV star, which is why he pretty much got the name of Mr. Television, on top of also being a, a great comedian at that. And uh, going into the episode, it's actually very interesting that um, the entirety of this episode, it kind of has a bit of a theme of a throwback of the golden age of entertainment. And I don't mean just like television or uh, old movies and stuff like that. Like they are even going back to the old vaude vaudeville days. It's e like, and there, this is another fact about Milton Berle is that uh, he had been in the entertainment business since the very beginning of the 20th century. Like, he started out as a kid uh, working into vaudeville, and there are some shows that did reflect on that, or like, at least some segments in the episode. Uh, what is interesting, though, is that uh, throughout the entire episode, the whole story is that Fozzie Bear was actually scared of meeting Milton Berle, considering that he is his idol, and doesn't really know what to do, uh, like, if he comes in front of him and stuff like that, and pretty much he's just scared because he looks up to him so much, and, uh, considering that Fozzie, he just, he feels nothing compared to Milton Berle, it's like, oh my god, you are so amazing, that kind of level, and it is interesting how... Um, you know, you see Fozzie Bear reacting to one of his idols. I don't think this is the first time that Fozzie has done that when there there is a person that he really looks up to and like he kind of like shies away and tries to get out of the whole situation. But um, it is very interesting and like it, it does reflect a little bit on what would you do if you would go and meet your idols and like if you had this opportunity to actually go and meet someone that for many years that you've looked up to, what would you do? Would you act like Fozzie or would you go up front? And it's actually pretty interesting to look into that. But it does lead to some classical and some pretty nice comedic uh, results that came out of it. It was it was a lot of fun to see how Fozzie would react and how, like all the different ways Fozzie tried to hide himself from meeting Milton Berle. But there is one thing, however, that seems actually pretty weird and there was like... This one moment that feels like an entire flaw with that whole situation. And this is one of the uh, guest acts that happened when, um, like, you see Milton Berle and Rolf, and they were actually performing The Entertainer. Like, of course, a lot of you might know about The Entertainer song, but in this one, they actually reflected upon that there, there are actual lyrics to uh, the song The Entertainer. And... Uh, I'm sure you guys know what it is, like, you know, the song, like, and it actually had some lyrics, and there is actually a very slow tempo and a very soothing tempo, because it also feels like a bit of a look back, where you see Milton Berle reflecting upon the days when he was a kid and he performed in vaudeville, and you can definitely see that heartwarming moment where, Mil where Milton Berle reflects upon the good old days of not just vaudeville but also just of entertainment in general before the movies before the television before the internet and before all that stuff when your one source of entertainment is through vaudeville and you have to go and check out people entertaining you through stage and song dance and you know crack up jokes and the one weird thing however is that there is that one little segment that the tempo goes more, like, more upbeat, more quicker, and this is a lot more fun. It's like, da -na 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 and, like, you just see, like, a random pile of Muppets coming in, and they were singing, 
and one of which is actually Fozzie, which it really is weird to see considering how, like, Fozzie builds up so much that he wants to avoid Milton Brola as much as he can because he doesn't feel worthy to be in front of his presence, yet here he is on stage singing The Entertainer next to Milton Brola, which it kind of, like, it just seems a bit confusing. And uh, it, it feels like one big plot hole in this entire situation. Um, very coincidentally though, uh, speaking of the entertainer bit, there is another weird aspect that came through it is that this is the first time that we see a reprise of a song that was performed in the Muppet Show. And I don't mean from a previous episode, from the same thing. Uh, right after Milton Berle would sing The Entertainer, Miss Piggy would come in and do the same thing, where um, she would sing The Entertainer with Rolf. And the, there is a slight difference, however, like we see Milton Berle is more soothing, it's more heartwarming. Uh, we see it more as a bit of a throwback to classic entertainment. But Miss Piggy is more... Um, Alright, how can I put this? Well, um, it, it does have a bit more of a different upbeat tone, but, uh, how could I, like, it's hard to explain, like, it, well, honestly, it's hard to explain without making it sound really weird, but, uh, the best way that I could say it is just that Miss Piggy was shaking what she has. That, that's all I could say without making it too weird talking about Miss Piggy. But, uh, yeah, uh, like, that, that's all I'll go into it, but it is still pretty interesting how there is actually, like, an encore, per se, of the same song. And, uh, speaking of Miss Piggy, however, uh, there is actually something very interesting to mention about this specific episode of The Muppet Show, is that this is the first time that we actually see pigs in space. This is the first time where we see Link Hogthrob, Dr. Strange Pork, and Miss Piggy all together in the Swine Trek uh, just doing like their little shenanigans. And you can definitely tell that this is the first episode of uh, Pigs in Space where it's not really as you remember, there isn't really the theme song like, you could, it, it's pretty much like how the first season of The Muppet Show is in general, where you could tell that they're just building up, that uh, the performers are not too familiar with their characters, and that, like, everything is just, um, like, pretty much the basics of what we know of pigs in space. That's all it pretty much is. This is just a build-up to what we'll eventually know about pigs in space. Uh, other perform other segments that were included, uh, like, it actually starts off with, uh, a very Muppet-like performance, a very Muppet-like sketch, where, uh, all the Muppet monsters would sing Ugly, and the song basically explains about, well, how can I put this, uh, the beauty of being ugly, even the, even the song actually starts out by saying, I'm ugly as sin, but beautiful's out, ugly's in, you know, it's that kind of song, but it also includes a lot of Muppet shenanigans that you would expect from the show, so it definitely does have a good start, uh, and speaking of Milton Berle, he was actually really great, and, um, like the entertainer segment, he was very well prominent throughout the entire episode. They used him to his full potential here, and it definitely is great. Especially how they started out with, uh, well, when it comes to Mil Milton Berle, he actually appears on stage, and he was about to do a comedic bit. He was about to do a comedy routine, but then he would get heckled by Statler and Waldorf, and then it becomes this entire bit of Milton Ber Berl versus Statler and Waldorf. Now, I can understand if there are some people who would say that this is just your typical Fozzie Bear routine where it's Fozzie Bear versus Statler and Waldorf, but this one is a bit different. With the way that Milton Berl is reacting to Statler and Waldorf, um, like, he, do he does say a few things and he takes a cert, like, he has a bit more of an assertiveness, more so than Fozzie Bear. So, like, you could definitely tell how it's more Milton Burl's thing more than it is a Fozzie thing. Like, they did it more for Burl than it is for Fozzie. But overall, I would say that it definitely is a great bit. It was definitely fantastic. And, uh, a lot of great, like, a lot of great gags just came out of that sketch. It was... Uh, definitely fantastic and even in the finale it was actually pretty good where Fozzie like 
okay, a bit of a spoiler alert, Fozzie does end up talking with Milton Berle, because apparently Milton really wants to do a song and dance number with Fozzie Bear, and they couldn't have picked a better song. They sang Top Banana, which is actually uh, a lot of fun. It's about being a, a comedian during the vaudeville and burlesque age, and, you know, they, like, you couldn't think of a better segment, like, you couldn't think of a better song to do with, like, if you want to do a song with Fozzie Bear, it's definitely great with Vo Fozzie, it's a lot of fun, it's just, it's classic comedy, that's the best way to describe that whole bit with Top Banana, it's just classic comedy in general. And overall, I would say with this episode, it's about classic entertainment. You got a classic celebrity like Milton Berle, who was known as Mr. Television, uh, talking about the classic days of entertainment with vaudeville and uh, with comedy in general. Everything about it, it just feels like um, you know, it, it does leave a pretty good impact, this episode in general. Like, some people would not say that this is the best, like, maybe there are some better episodes out there, but, uh, this one, like, you can tell that it has a lot of heart into it. Like, this is a true love letter to classic entertainment, and it really is, and it definitely is a fine episode, and I really do appreciate what it did. Um, very, very nice episode. But anyways, that is pretty much it for this one. And we'll see if there will be more comedy or maybe as much heart in the next episode of The Muppet Show. So we'll stay tuned for that. But until next time, see you later, dudes. Thank you.